Right, well welcome back to my humble abode and today you are joining me in the garage for a how to video made by yours truly. Now this will be the third how to video I have done. The last one I did was last year when I showed you how to fix an express model light pack onto a locomotive that had no working lights. And also, that same year, I also did a how-to video on how to make glue for Mother Railway ballast, which is just here. But anyway, today's how-to video is going to be somewhat different, and it's going to be how to put real coal into your locomotives. Here's one I've already just done. It's the Black 5. Not the one with LMS written on the side. This is the BR line black one with the light crest. And as you can see, there's the real coal, which is now just in the process of drying, because I've just added the glue to it. Oh, not the camera there. Hmm. So there was a bit of real coal in the water place there on the tender. I've also done three others as well. If I just pan the camera around, as you can see... There's 300 other tenders there. And they've come from 213 Squadron over there. There's that Black 5. I've just shown the tender for that. The Battle of Britain, you can just see there. It's the Eustace Mizenden, the unrebuilt one. And the Backman A1, which does have removable coal. I only figured that one out recently. So the coal in the tenders there, they're just drying, as you can see. If I just quickly show you. Okay, now let's get to work. Right, well the locomotive we're using this video is the Merchant Navy from Hornby. I'll also do a video in this video on showing another locomotive having real coal put in the tender. So I'm going to do one made by Hornby and one made by Batman. And we're also going to show you I'm putting the real coal in the absolute gorgeous and sexy Class D11, the Lady of the Lake. Right, well, first things first is we need to move the plastic coal. So I'm going to get a needle to prise it out because I don't have a cocktail stick. Well, it seems to be a bit... Ah, there we go. That wasn't easy to do. So, here's the plastic coal. And I do have, if we just move this tub of glue out of the way, which we'll be using in a sec, we have the other coal pieces there. Now, there's two options what you can do with them. The first option is either bung them in the bin afterwards, or simply you can just put them to one side in a box somewhere. I think the most likely idea is to move them in the bin anyway, but it's up to you. Right, now what you need is a tub of PVA glue and a medium sized brush, preferably this size. A tender obviously. Some real coal. As you can see, here's one pack of two that I have and I've opened one of them. As you can see. It's in a plastic tub. And the real coal is made by Javis Countryside Scenic Products. I don't know why I'm showing you half the package in there. <laughs> I could have shown you the other bag, but it's in a box down there. And then we need some 
liquid glue which if you remember the stuff that I showed you how to use it for ballast on your railways then this is the same stuff that you'll need right so let's get to work right well first you need to put some glue in the tender so get some on a brush you don't need an enormous mountain of it and just spread it in the bottom as you can see like that now you don't really need to rush this as I will very kindly point out and there we go now that the glue is in the tender get the tub of coal grab your hand and just sprinkle it in like that you can use a spoon if you want but I'm using my hand well, why not? Now how you do it is up to you. You can have it piling up to the top if you wanted to, like an overloaded tender. Or you can just do it like I'm doing which isn't full to the top but you must cover the areas where there's PVA glue ok right now the real coal is in there now you get your liquid glue squeeze it into your pipette and gently just squirt it onto the coal like that it would help if we bring it in closer actually and the idea is to sprinkle it on every bit of real coal that's in there where the glue is and the reason for this liquid glue is it will help it stick because obviously the coal on the top of the, the stuff that's on the glue you know it just won't stick on using this liquid glue it will help to keep it stuck in place okay so there's the tender for the merchant navy just leave that to dry. Now we are going to move on to the Class D11. So basically we need to remove the coal. Like so. This is metal coal, as I said in the review of this locomotive. So we'll put that to one side. Now we will need to bring the locomotive into shot. Right, now do the same process like I did with the Merchant Navy tender. Just get your brush into some PVA. Again, you don't need an enormous mountain of it because it will just look a bit silly. Okay, right. Now all the glue's in there. Get your real coal. 
and sprinkle it in. This is the way I want doing it. You can use a spoon if you want, but I'm going to stick with this way. Then once you've done that, get your dropper glue, and just carefully sprinkle it on. So that's done, and that's basically it. That's how you put real coal in locomotives. So there's only three more locomotives to go now to put real coal in. That's the ATF, the Duchess slash Princess Coronation, and the other Black Five, the one that came out of the Thames Fourth Express. So that's all I have time for today. Goodbye, and I'll see you soon.